Getting a win uh, against Nebraska, against Darren Erstad, your former teammate, but then with your son on the mound, uh, what was this matchup kind of like coming into it? Well, it was a nerve-wracking one for me today. Uh, anytime my son goes out there, I don't know which one's going to show up, but he showed up today and got out of a couple jams, and I, I was very, very proud of him as a dad and a coach today. You said he thought you thought he might be a little nervous when he went on the mound. Uh, walks the first guy, gives up a stolen base, then it seemed like he settled in. Uh, what you kind of, you know, what was kind of the conversation? with him to kind of get him to, to calm down out there? I just went out and told him he was good enough. You're, you're good enough. Your stuff's good enough. you got to force him to swing the bat. So let's let's bring it back a little bit and you know, stop trying to throw 98. Let's throw the ball over the plate and force him to hit it. How different is it kind of coaching him up? I mean, a couple times, I think the, the first hit and then also a, a later walk, you were really quick to go out to the mound. Um, you know, just kind of knowing him, obviously, how different is it kind of coaching him than it is a, another player? Well, I, I typically know most of my players and their personalities, but I know him real well. And uh, being his first start against Nebraska in this setting, I just wanted to make sure that he was within himself. And, and he was. He was very composed. Um, even after the fifth, I said, are you good? You got a lot of pitches. He said, I got this. So that's what a coach is always looking for. And uh, as a dad, I was really proud of him. What's this matchup like? You guys played Nebraska last year, I believe, as well. But facing off against Darren, both of you guys going from the majors to now trying to take over and kind of resurrect your, your alma maters. Well, you know anytime you're facing an Erstad team, they're going to grind it out. Um, you know, today I think you, you have a, a little bit of product of during their second game. It's a little tiring. We had that yesterday. We were a little beat down for the second game. Um, but that's, that is a relentless team that they have over there. Uh, offensively, I think you know, Cole went out there with some good stuff. Three pitches he was commanding, but that team's relentless, and you can't let up because they'll snap on you in a heartbeat. What do you think about your guys' offense kind of going forward in this season? It seems like you guys are very aggressive on the base pass once again. Uh, looks like you got some pop in the middle of that lineup, though. Yeah, we actually we got some pop up and down that lineup all the way through, depending on which lineup I go with. Uh, it's a very good thing that we have this year. We've got speed. We've got guys that can play really good defense. So I can throw three or four different lineups at you. Today I went with one that's got some, some power, trying to get some quick snaps on the board. But uh, it's, it's a fun team to have. I just got to keep everybody engaged because when you're rotating guys in and out that, that often, guys get a little stagnant on the bench because uh, they want to stay out there for nine. But I know it's a long haul, it's a long season, and we, we got to keep these guys fresh. What's one of the things that's going to be kind of a challenge for you? I know you got some young guys on the team. How are you kind of dealing with that as the season progresses, getting, here, getting going now? Well, you see, I'm trying to get them broke in. I've got 13 freshmen. I'm bringing them in for defense a little bit here and there, pinch run, pinch hit. And tomorrow you're going to see three of them on the field. Um, we're going to start them, and I may have a quick hook with them. But i got to get these guys ready because they're going to be an integral part of this team. You're going into Big West. Big West is always a challenging uh, conference. Uh, what's something you're looking for in this non-conference you'd like to kind of find out about this team? Well, biggest thing is how do they handle adversity you know can we fight back when we're down two in the first inning and and, and do that because that's been a nemesis of us is getting down and not being able to fight back I don't see that happening with this team um, I want to see right now is us go out and handle good baseball teams so everybody in our conference knows we're real when we're coming in uh, that's a big confidence boost for us when I, our opponents know we're good